Hey you guys, what's up? It's Ivy. And uh, I know you guys don't normally see me do this because I do it off camera. But I always cleanse the energy and I have some other things in there that I use for bringing in positive energy and also um, love and prosperity, um, good health and things like that. So, this is going to be um, what I should expect if I date him. So, this is for my ladies. <clears throat> okay. And I'm um, going to try to do it a little bit different than what I normally do, but slightly I want to add some um, affirmation things in there, okay? So if this resonates with you guys, please feel free to like, share, and definitely subscribe. All right. So let's see what we can get. What should you expect if you date him? These cats are flying out. What should you expect if you date him? And, um, you guys know I generally do not shuffle uh, on camera. I usually like to have a set of cards, uh, a spread already out, and I just shuffle to clarify, but I don't know, some of you may... Like I said in the past, like to see how I do the uh, spread just in case um, you have any kind of um, apprehension in regards to the way that I put my spread out. This is how I do it. I don't really feel comfortable hand picking them, and I don't want anyone to think that I lay the cards out in a specific way. Um, or not that, but pull out specific cards for any type of, you know, intention. I flipped over. So, I just, every reader is different, and this is how I tend to feel most comfortable. I need more room. This is how I tend to feel most comfortable doing it this way. Um, I don't know. It just kind of always resonated with me to do it like this. Because then me personally, I feel like spirit is involved more. And I always ask for um, insight, wisdom, guidance, and vision as I am shuffling and reading for the collective so that it reaches whoever needs to see it and hopefully you guys also can hear me so I want to make sure that I'm also um, speaking loud enough for you guys not trying to whisper anything so I do have some affirmations here that I will give um, a little bit more information that may go a little bit more into detail in regards to uh, your situation and um Some oracles. Okay. All right. So what should I expect if I date him? Well, I think that initially this person may come across um, like they, uh, their intuition may be blocked a bit when it comes to things, um, so, and 
that's the Queen <clears throat> of Cups in reverse. Their intuition may be a bit blocked. They may actually even possess some feelings of jealousy. Um, I don't know. But with the Prince of Pentacles here underneath, it feels like they may they may um they may be slow to act. So I feel like they would be willing to give uh into this situation. This is this is just like I, I don't know it's it just kind of feels like it's so back and forth, um, yet at the same time, with this I kind of feel like um, with this in reverse, there may be some issues that they may be having in regards to feeling disconnected, and that may be something personal within them because. They may feel like their intuition is blocked, so I'm not sure if they had um, issues in the past when it came to other relationships or their, their last relationship that they were in, how much work they've done on themselves since then. But um, I feel like they are trying to, they would like to look to see what what else is out there but they're caught up in fear this person you know may have it have overwhelming um anxiety <laughs> uh and i feel like when they came towards you they may have been very um very decisive in their manner, but they still need they still need some healing, and I feel like the the reason why they may have come near you, uh, is because they may see you as someone who's like a wish come true for them. You may just embody that kind of energy. You may embody that kind of energy that is um, someone that they've been waiting for. Hold on. My girlfriend, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I think that this person definitely has... Uh, I'm so sorry. What the heck? I think this person definitely has some trust issues. Um because of things that have happened in the past and so that could be the reason why they may tend to move slowly in regards to um, having something with you but again this really could be um, a mutual mutually beneficial um, relationship. I think that whatever it is that you would offer, they would enjoy, and whatever it is that they would offer, you would enjoy. It's just making a plan to see what it is that um, you would want, what direction would you actually be interested in having this go. But their thoughts are getting in the way highly of what to expect in regards to um, the relationship or how, how things would potentially turn out to be.
Maybe this person didn't have a lot of nurturing. They could see you as a nurturing person. And um, someone who seems pretty grounded. You may bring a lot of practicality and stability to the relationship. They also may see you as someone who has options and therefore may feel a bit confused about how to proceed. Um, what I mean is, you know how you see someone that you like and it's almost like, They just automatically seem like, why would you be single? And um, you make a connection, a real genuine connection. But in the back of your mind, and I'm saying this as far as this person towards you, they could think that you have all these other options. Why is this person single? You know, I'm kind of confused, you know, in regards to why they would even want me, why they would be interested. Is this like, you know, really real? Um, so even for this person to go forward, it's taking them a lot of courage to open up. And show any type of vulnerability towards you because, or I should say it will if you date them. It will take them a lot of um, strength to open up and be vulnerable because this really feels like someone who has done terribly wrong in the past. Yeah. <clears throat> they still have a lot of um, healing to do a lot of unresolved issues that they may need to um, work through. So I feel like with this person here, they may feel guilty when it comes to um, going back and forth between... Um, being single and um, really feeling like there's anything um, that they have to offer. This person could also be a bit of a workaholic. They might be so used to being involved in their own... Um, their own stuff. I have so much stuff going on over here. I'm sorry. And I'm enjoying my M&Ms. So. Um, but. There is a feeling of wanting to grow, wanting to actually have some stability or create something that could be long lasting. So in that regard, I don't see things as being all that bad. It's just that um, they may feel a little... I don't want to say intimidated because that's not the word I want. They may feel a little strange in regards to moving forward, but they want to offer you love nonetheless. They really want to offer you love. They just have to get out of their head. I'm so sorry for the interruptions. So, they had an ending, and I think that that ending 
is what is interfering possibly the way that things ended if they found out that whoever they were dealing with um, cheated on them somehow this person is really looking for balance so when it comes to their healing they're trying to put themselves in alignment to have some form of balance within themselves let's see what else we can get I look a mess today, y'all. Today is definitely my Sunday. And I'm relaxing. I ain't trying to put on no makeup. Nothing on my face. Ain't do my hair. Nothing. I'm actually uh, watching my show. My girls. I absolutely love them. Sex in the City. If you've never checked it out, you have to watch it. It's one of those kind of things that you just kind of fall more in love with the characters as the seasons go by and you see how things build with each of them um, and grow as they all try to um, find relationships. And that's basically why I like this show because it's a relationship show. Even though it says sex and the city, they just give a nice point of view from a female about how it is dating and a lot of the scenarios that each of the women have gone through I have actually faced or I know that friends of mine have gone through um too bad they don't have a show like this for men uh you don't really tend to see shows like that where it'd be like a group of of guys and you get their point of view when it comes to dating and relationships Am I going to get anything out of this? But that is my uh, my little um, secret pleasure. And I have all the seasons. It's six seasons, I believe, and two movies. One and two. And they're all good. Alright, this is going to be it. What else can you tell me? other information is so other information I can get on this individual if this person there we go if this person dates dates this person what else okay so we have cassette Are you guys hearing all that noise? I think that's coming from upstairs. We have cassette, outdated thinking, um, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So this is what this person is possibly doing. And they may be allowing their fear to overtake them. So if you date them, beware of that. This is actually a conversation that you can have with them when it comes to their past relationship and things that they've gone through. Is asking them what kind of things do they continue to play over in their head. Because the thing is, when you play things over and over again in your head that you did not like, it's like telling the universe, give me more of this. And you can't do that. So that person would need to change those thoughts and go into thinking about the kind of things they would like to have happen in the relationship and then we have the dragonfly be lighthearted, finding out things um finding out things coming to light um adapt change and heal so this is what this person also actually needs um, they need to be a little bit more lighthearted and not take things so seriously because they're coming out of a situation that um, was still a bit heavy. And they also need to go through a time of healing 
So I don't even know if this would actually be recommended to date this person if if they have, you know, these different things still that they need to work through. The love between a parent and child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us, and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our heart. I would have to say, you know, like for this in relation to this person, that maybe they need to go back and in order to help them heal, they need to go back and think about all of those different things that happened when they were a child. Look at where their belief system um, has come in and somehow has affected them. Because that may be uh, one of the biggest things that they are personally going to need in regards to helping them to heal. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally. So the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And this is um, a lot of what I mean when um, I talk about getting what you continually think about because you never get what you want you always get who you are so if there are some things in this person that are not healed when it comes to you you need to look at where you are and the things that um the places in your life inside emotionally that are not healed and see what it could possibly be where that attraction is coming in when you end up having a talk with this person if you decide to date them um because you both could be a projection of each other of what's going on in the inside so maybe you still have some healing to do as well as this person And you'll know how much better you are getting based on the people that you tend to attract. Sometimes when you attract what you don't want, those are triggers to show you where you still need to clean up some things in yourself. Or they could come in the form of a test to say um, from the universe, is this something that this person is still going to accept? If this is not what you want not who you are and you don't resonate with that anymore, then you should not accept it. Surrender at surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So in this regard, letting go is letting go of old old ties to past relationships. You should not still be friends with someone that you ended up letting go of um especially if it was something that was negative why would you still be holding on to that if you don't resonate with it anymore if you've moved on if you've changed there may still be a part of you if you're still holding on to it there may still be a part of it that um inside of you is showing that you have not actually completely changed and so you're still holding on to that old thoughts old behaviors if you're trying to become someone new, in order to do that, your thought process has to change. You can't continue to think the same way that you did when you were in that past relationship. Um, if you want something new, you have to be the, the, um, the change that happens inside before it happens on the outside. So it's changing everything, uh, all the different things um, that you need to about yourself. I just need one card. All right. Just need one card. 
Okay, you are sexiness personified. Did I have a book with this? I did not have a book with this. I thought that I did. Hmm. You are sexiness personified. And these are affirmations. So you need to maybe say that to yourself. And if you happen to like Antonio uh, Banderas, which I absolutely do. I think he's gorgeous. Um, there may be some qualities in him that you possess or your person um, could possess. But just in terms of yourself, you may need to take on more um, characteristics of a person that you feel is sexy, like emulate them. What would, what would you do if uh, you were that person that you find to be so sexy? Okay, so... That is your read for what you would be able to expect if you were to date him. Um, I hope that there was something in this read that actually helped. And if it did, please like, definitely share, and subscribe to my channel. Continue to tune in because I'm going to try my best to give you guys what you like. And also leave a comment because it does my heart good to know that uh, you guys are getting something out of this and I like to be able to interact with you. So thanks for coming to my channel and watching. Thanks for helping my channel to grow. I really appreciate you guys. Love you and have a great rest of your day. Peace.